Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, hope you guys are doing well. So ladies and gentlemen, I am going to do a small video or a small series, I don't know, it depends on how popular it gets, about tanks and I'll tend to undo aircraft as well but I'm not very big in the aircraft gameplay of War Thunder and I'm not very big in the naval side of War Thunder but I'll maybe do something along those lines as well. Of vehicles I would like to see come to War Thunder. Now the first one is the L3 stroke 33. Yes, 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 yes. That cute little tank that we already do have in the game. Okay, but this is the flamethrower variant as you can see on screen. So we all know the CV33. Um, nothing much to say about it. It's pretty shit in War Thunder. It's just a cool, very cool meaning tank um it's had a lot of history the italians used it a lot the germans even used it a hell of a lot and it was used in policing duties um when the italians fell and the germans got a hard hand or a lot of them and even used as artillery tractors to pull artillery uh, uh, artillery pieces around and sh and trailers around so just I would like to see it. I mean, we've got already flamethrower tanks in the game, so why can't we have this? What's War Thunder holding back on? Tend to one for their pockets. But very cool tank. And another disclaimer before we move on with this. These vehicles are not anything brain game breaking in the game. They're not to fill in a niche or, or fill in any roles. They're just personally things I would like to see come to the game. So the um, L3 stroke 33 or otherwise known as the CV 33 the flamethrower tank for it Italy I would love to see it in the game so we're gonna move on to the next one okay ladies and gentlemen so the next one in our list as you can see in the pictures below is a Romanian vehicle now I don't know where they could place this I don't know if they could place it with Israel with Germany I don't really think Germany will fit into this picture, but maybe Israel or even America or... Uh, but I think Romania is in the tech tree, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't touched War Thunder in a hot minute. Um, but yeah, I must get back to it. So we are looking at the MLI, MLI-84. So it's basically a BMP-1 that the Romanians um, had license to produce and they lengthened the hull, the whole of it and with help from israel they made a lot of changes to it so the one we are actually looking at is it, it has got a, a auckland kba auto cannon and new atgm launches on the sides so i'm not sure precise what i am not going into deeps with these vehicles i'm just saying this is what i'd like to see in the game so uh, there is a shit ton of variants out there. You've got uh, the ML84 with a 73. You've got it with a uh, Maloika ATGM launcher. You've got them with Spike ATGMs. There is so many different variants that you can choose from and play around with. It's not even funny, but it's a vehicle that's existing and that's been manufactured and that's been used and like i said there is plenty of different variants and this would be so cool to come to the game um just unique with that turret of it i find it to be very nice and to show you what what you can actually do with older vehicles and older tech technology you could give them a new life a new lease on life so yeah very cool vehicle it's been in service since 1985 till present day um number built was 178 so yeah variants there are plenty so yeah ladies and gentlemen pretty cool one for the next uh let's move to the next one all right so these next two vehicles are very weird i can't find much information on them but it's a Vickers Carden Lloyd tanks. Okay, we all know the Vickers Carden Lloyd. Nothing fancy about them. Um, 
Interimperial War tank that the British came out and were very successful was imported to Russia all over the place and everyone stole the concept and modified the shit out of them. But this is actually one that the British did is they took um, two machine guns as you can see and they mounted on the top for an anti-aircraft. Now we all know the starting anti-aircraft vehicle in War Thunder is also a Chris Victor, uh, 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 a Victor Carden Lloyd chassis but it's shit with the three machine guns it's useless and this one just looks like a bit of a beefier one a bit of a more accurate bit more better gameplay i think and this one i put in because i really thought it could do pretty well at rank one and rank reserve that's why i actually put this in because this is about the only vehicle that i think will have a place in the game and i just kind of like it the second one is a mystery um as you can see by the pictures itself that I've got up, I could only find the one picture. If anyone knows anything about this vehicle, just let me know in the comments. It looks like a, a, a Carden Lloyd uh, chassis with a 37 millimeter gun or something on it, uh, or a 45. I'm not too sure, um, but it looks damn dope, and I think it could also be very cool for early tier for Britain. I know Britain's got a lot of tanks for early tier and that, but yeah, I always say I'm, I'm, an, I'm from rank, I'm, I play from reserve up to 3.7 and sometimes up to 6, that's my rank I like to play and the more there is, the merrier, the happier I am. So that's why I'm adding these two vehicles in, I don't know precisely what their names are, the name they've got for this is an experimental British Vickers Carden Lloyd light tank fitted with twin 50 dot 50 caliber vickers machine guns for aa use this other one i couldn't find any information on it so yeah i just think they look pretty cool and i think both of them could fit a role for the british so yeah let's move on to the next one okay ladies and gentlemen the next vehicle as you can see on your screen is a russian vehicle <laughs> i have to put something for you guys in there yeah i mean you russian players mm, mm, mm. Can't forget about you guys can we so what is this vehicle that we are looking at this monstrosity it is basically another experimental tank that comes out of russia it is the object 490 i'm not gonna go a lot into it it's basically a pretty cool looking tank with 10 to 1 pretty cool history i'm looking at the page now where i get my research from I'm not going to go a lot into it. It's just basically it's got a 125 millimeter, uh, 125 millimeter cannon, three machine guns, um, whole frontal armor, 100 millimeter steel plate at 68 degrees, followed up by 500 millimeters composite, all sides 180, uh, 180 millimeter composite turret is 100, uh, 780 millimeter millimeters of car composite armor at 30 degrees turret side 300 millimeters holes hole side skirts 85 millimeters so yeah it's metric tons is 41.5 uh molosov factory uh, 1980s designer was kmdb uh, main battle tank that's basically what i'm going to cover on it very cool tank it looks like a very nice um apparently to the article it could also be fitted with a 130 millimeter gun i don't know but i might put i might do a video on this it's got a hydro hydrostatic mechanical suspension system a 2000 hp com uh, combined oh no sorry it is the engine is a two times four td 2000 combined i don't know what that is sounds like a combiner harvest combined i don't know um but very cool looks cool i just think it could be one of those over glorified overpowered tanks in war thunder like the russians do have in the right hands it can be as powerful as anything but you put it in my hands and it's useless as anything i can't kill nothing with it so i just like the shape the styling of this tank very nice um and I think it will be a great store premium 
a great event vehicle even though we're getting screwed with the battle pass i just think it'll it's just i, th I think it'll suit in with the russian players very well and that's why i picked it and that's why i like it all right so we're moving on to the next one okay ladies and gentlemen so the next one as you can see in the picture it is the t249 villagenti villagenti i couldn't forget about your american players i had to put it in for you so i'm not saying this has got any niche in the game like i have said in the beginning of the video none of these vehicles i think will actually have any place in the game or fill any rank if you guys believe uh, um, think so let me know in the comments um it's just vehicles that i like and that i think could come to the game i don't know i'm not gonna say store packs or not store pack but this is another one of them it's from the it's from uh, the US, uh, United States. It's made by Springfield Armory, designed 1956 to 1962. Um, it's basically a M113 armored personnel carrier with a 37 millimeter six barrel Gatling gun mounted on it with some radars in it. I did make a, comp a, a review video of this vehicle and it never meant into production it had a lot of bit of drawbacks in that so i just think it it, it 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 is a cool vehicle it needs to be put into the game and to be kept and to be uh, shown off um how useful it will be i don't know but it has got an insane rate of fire um maximum 300 rpms in anti-aircraft use Decreased to 1,000, uh, 120 rounds for ground targets. Muzzle velocity 950 meters uh, meters per second. Feed system 192 round drum magazines. So yeah, the magazines might be a problem with a thing like this spread, splitting uh, freedom bullets down range. But I think it would be just a fun vehicle a nice unique vehicle um yeah that's basically it i think uh, i would like to see this in game and i think it could be a very cool fun vehicle to play especially with this um gatling cannon on it um tearing the living crap out of everything that you meet so yeah ladies and gentlemen that brings us to the end of this episode let me know what you guys think and if you guys would like to see more of this or me to do another video like this let me know and i will do one keep well and i'll see you guys in the next one oh and also don't forget to hit that like comment share and subscribe check out us on each on x and also check us out on check out our links below for discord and our patreon uh, links as well everything will be low but further than that keep well and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye